Greetings, Earthlings. Casey. My name is Casey. Oh my god. Ugh, it's too early. I need coffee. Um, just took the kiddos to school. Bianca's in there watching, um, one of her little blogger people that she likes. And, um, I'm not feeling very well. I'm having some issues healing from this, um, breast lift. And that is going to be a separate video. But... I, am I was very determined to get this video up for you guys because I know that you guys were very, very curious about it. Um, some of you guys are curious just because, you know, some people are just nosy. So the reason why I'm making this video is for those of you that are like genuinely curious and want to know my experience um, about it. I've had this, I had my fat transfer done a few years ago. Um, however, I never planned on doing a video on it because I knew that I was going to be judged and criticized. And at that time of my life, I just, I wasn't ready for it. And now I can honestly say that I just don't give a shit what people think about me anymore. It's my body. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to do with my body, whether that be fat transfer, my lip injections, dyeing my hair, cutting my hair, um, getting tattoos, whatever. It's my body. I'm going to do whatever the hell with it and I think that you know if um, I'm not telling you to get plastic <clears throat> excuse me I'm not telling you to get plastic surgery um, but I am telling you to do what makes you um, happy do whatever the hell you want and don't worry about the naysayers or people that um, are gonna criticize you for your choices because at, again at the end of the day it's your body um, so with that said I had a fat transfer, Brazilian butt lift, a few years ago. They basically did lipo on my stomach, my entire waist, and transferred the fat into my bum. Um, so that, I'll leave the doctor's info down below, um, all of his information. And um, so I'll just basically talk about cost and recovery. And um, so it cost... From what I remember, I'm pretty sure it was 4900 Now, that was a few years ago. I know that a lot of girls have gone to him since, so I'm pretty sure he probably raised the price. Um, so I paid $4,900. Um, so my, excuse me, when I first had the fat transfer, I wasn't able to sit, of course. I got, like, a, this, like, you know, lounge chairs, but like they're plastic, like gel-like plastic see-through. Anyway, one of those like lounge chairs and I cut a hole in the lounge chair and I basically like sat, um, I had that in my living room and that's like how I sat and like watched TV. Um, or I would like lay on the couch on my stomach. Um, it was for a good I want to say like four weeks I didn't sit on my butt, which was, uh, that was so, it was just more annoying and inconvenient, you know, than anything. Um, I did have to wear like this compression garment for the lipo to areas on my stomach. Um, as far as pain goes, I wasn't in a whole lot of pain. I mean, it was definitely uncomfortable. I was like sore and tender. But I didn't experience, like, a lot of pain. If anything, the areas that were lipoed, um, that's what I struggled with the most out of the whole procedure um, was the swelling. You are going to swell for a good six months. It's going to take a while for the swelling to go down. So um, you just have to be really, really patient. You have to be patient, again, with waiting to be able to sit. Um, I did start driving, I want to say at three weeks and how I did that was I rolled, um, a towel, I think it was a towel, rolled a towel basically. So I had like a tube, tubular shape and I put that under my thighs. Um, oh no, you know what? I used a boppy pillow. I did try using a towel and I remember that didn't work. So I used like a boppy pillow, you know, the baby boppy pillows. And, um, I set that under my thighs that way, like that would hold me up, but my butt wasn't actually like sitting down on the seat. So it was kind of like propped up. Um, 
So my bottom behind, it was big, like really big and full. I loved the way it looked for a good nine months. After about nine months, it started to get smaller and smaller. And um, you guys, I was obsessed with like having a big butt. I was so obsessed. I would take, now that I think about it, it's like so sad. <laughs> I would take this tape measure and like the soft tape measures and I would measure my butt every day. And now that I think about it, it's so sad. Like, that makes me sad. Um, and I would measure my butt every single day. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's at 44 inches. I'm good, I'm good. And then one day it would be at 43. And I would, like, legit get sad. And, um, you know, a couple weeks later, you know, it would be back at 44. So I don't know if it was the swelling that made it go down and go a little bit bigger and come back up. But, um... Basically, I was obsessed with measuring my butt, which is ridiculous. Um, I Once I saw it getting smaller and then it started measuring at 42 inches, I, I was really sad because I was like, no, I want my ass to be 44 inches, 45 inches. And so it, it went to about 42 inches after nine months. And for the past three years, it's basically been at 42 inches. Um, when I do lose a little bit little bit of weight I'm sure it goes down but I don't measure my butt like I used to so I'm not too sure but for the most part like when I look in the mirror it looks the same I would say that about 70 percent not even 70 I would say like 60 percent of the fat survived um and you know the doctor whatever doctor you go with they'll tell you like not all the fat is going to survive in your butt some of it is going to die and it's it's going to go away basically. So 60% of the fat survived, um, which I was really bummed about because like I wanted it to all stay in there because my butt looked really good and it looked really full. Um, so fast forward to, um, fast forward three years. Um, would I do it again? I would just because it did give me a little bit of shape. Um, I was pretty, my butt was pretty flat before. Um, unless I gained weight, then my butt would get, you know, nice and fluffy. But I didn't want to gain weight just to have like a big butt, you know. I wanted to be, throughout the years, or throughout the past few years, I was more, you know, growing spiritually growing mentally and I was just like you know what I like having a huge ass isn't that important to me so I was okay with my butt shrinking as long as I had like a shape which I do I have like a nice little shape and um I'm okay with that now you know where I'm at in my life is I want to you know get in the gym and build my glutes by building muscle and that's why sometimes I, I, I get a little um, a little hurt or sad when people are like, oh, you've had a fat transfer, you're so fake, like, don't act like you work out to get that body. And here's the thing, even though I've had a tummy tuck and this fat transfer, I still work my ass off in the gym. I can't right now because I have this breast lift, but, like, I go hard in the gym and I go five times a week. And, you know, just because you get a fat transfer or you get a tummy tuck, doesn't mean that that's your end result like you can still gain weight back and you can still lose shape um I had four kids in my stomach and you know I don't want to go into like def I feel like I'm defending myself now I'm defending it. but like basically um it's my body and I wanted at the time when I got the Brazilian butt lift fat transfer I wanted a bigger butt I wanted um my body to look different. I had four kids. My body changed a whole lot. And I, I just wanted to feel good about myself. So um, anyway, after I had the fat transfer, um, once they took like all of that fat out of my stomach, um, I had a lot of skin. 
a lot. And my the doctor told me too, like after we take this fat out to transfer it to your butt, you're gonna have a lot of skin left over. You're probably you're probably gonna need a tummy tuck in the future. Um, he's like, or it may you know may shrink back up and you may not need a tummy tuck. I knew I was gonna need a tummy tuck. So, um, like a year later after the Brazilian butt lift, I was left with a shit ton of skin and I did have like fat in um, a lot of fat too. So that's when I decided to do the tummy tuck. And when I, after I had the tummy tuck, um, it definitely made just like my overall shape a lot better, which made me just obviously more confident and it made me just more, you know, comfortable in my skin. Um, so the fat transfer along with the tummy tuck because the tummy tuck made my waist look smaller because you remove the fat, you remove the skin, you tighten everything back up. So the waist, the illusion of your waist being smaller, which w was what happened when I had my tummy tuck, it made my butt look a little bit bigger. So it kind of made up for me losing some of the fat in my butt. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you guys had questions. I can definitely do a follow-up to this video because I know I'm probably not covering everything. So if you guys have questions, um, I, I was going to leave the comments off on this video. So, like, I don't know if I should be like, oh, leave a comment because I may, I, I might turn the comments off just because I just, I know that I'm going to get a lot of shit for this and I just don't want my, I don't want the comment section to be flooded with judgy pricks. I mean, I know everyone has their opinion. Me and my mindset and how I think is that if, like, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. People, people are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want to do with their bodies. It's not your money. It's not your body. So I don't know if I'm going to leave the comment section disabled or if I'm going to allow comments. I think I'll just like kind of maybe. I see. And I don't fucking have time to monitor the comments to filter out like rude people. So I don't know. But I do want to answer your guys' questions because I know you're going to have them. So maybe you can like email me or something. Um, just in case I do decide to disable the comments. But um, would I do the fat transfer again? I would. Um, I definitely just wouldn't go in with the expectations that I had before. When I went in, I was like, I'm going to have this huge ass and blah, blah, blah. And um, <laughs> honestly, now looking at it and even just going to the gym, I'm more concerned about getting just – a nice shape. I don't need like to have this fat ass anymore. I just want like a nice toned, healthy body. Um, when I first got the fat transfer, I wasn't, I didn't have that mentality. I was just like, give me a fat ass, you know, <laughs> which I think, you know, being on social media and seeing like these big butts, like glamorized and, um, at the time, like I compared myself to every, every beautiful girl that I saw on Instagram and now like I'm in a place where like that's not my body and I don't have this or I don't have that and you know that's okay this is your body make the best of your body the way you know however I'm gonna do that if I you know I got my breast reduction because I wanted you know smaller boobs or um you know the tummy tuck I wanted a better looking stomach and then now I'm in the gym and I'm maintaining the results that I got from surgery to make my body even better um so this video is all over the place Ugh, I'm coughing but I, I just I really I was like you need to get this video done because you've been telling snapchat fam and instagram fam <laughs> that you're going to film this and I've been putting it off so this is kind of just like on a whim I know it's not like structured and neat and you know whatever but um I hope you guys got some of the information that you were looking for um hubby took a week off of work to help me um week two I was able to pretty much do things myself um showering was like really uncomfortable for a couple of weeks um because you'd have to put the garment back on and that wasn't fun um but Again, if you guys have any other questions, I can definitely make a part two so I can answer those for you. But for now, there it is. I had a fat transfer. <laughs>
and um, I'm actually going to go record my breast lift um, video because I'm two weeks post off. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not even going to edit this. I'm just going to throw it up on my channel. So um, 